Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you guys uh, a quick upper body uh, superset that you can do at home and I'm going to do it with uh, dumbbells and a bench. So uh, I know a lot of you people don't have them and some of you guys do but for today I'm going to show you guys uh, the dumbbells and bench. So basically uh, we're going to do a pressing movement uh, which will take care of the chest the front of the shoulders and the triceps and we're going to superset that with a pull which is going to take care of the back, the lats, uh, the bicep and forearms. So basically uh, by doing the press and the pull you are uh, going to work uh, most of the muster, uh, major muscle groups of the upper body. So anyways I'm going to see, I think I got a good angle on this. Okay so I'm going to do an incline, uh, incline press. Okay, I do like the incline uh, better than a flat bench uh, just because it works the upper chest more uh, and will work uh, the shoulders more as well. Okay, so I will grab. Okay, so I'm going to grab these and we're going to start off uh, with the press. I like doing my presses with a neutral grip, it's easier on the shoulder joint and it allows you to get a greater stretch or a deeper stretch in the movement. Okay, so you just want to stick your chest out, right? You're going to press straight up. One, one, two, three, four. Good stretch. Two, two, three, four. Good stretch. Good. You'll notice I'm not bringing them together. I'm basically pushing them straight up. Also, my elbows aren't flared right out. I don't do 90 degrees. I like it about 70 degrees or so. Uh, that'll be easier on your shoulder joint as well. Okay, and you get that nice good stretch. Press, press, press. And you, you always want to make sure uh, that you're, you're sticking your chest out and you're keeping your shoulder blades back, okay? You don't want any of this happening at the shoulder joint, okay? So anyways, I would do a set of whatever, 12 to 20 like that. And then your super set I'm going to show you guys is going to be the one arm uh, dumbbell row. Okay, and the dumbbell row uh, primarily works the lats. It'll work the biceps and the forearms as well. So anyways, you want to make sure that your back is nice and flat. Right, you're not rounded like this, but nice flat back, and you're pulling it back like so. You're not pulling it, you see a lot of people pulling it like this with their biceps. No, it's not a bicep exercise. You're rolling it backwards, you're, dr you're driving your elbow back. Right, and you're squeezing that shoulder blade at the end, all the way down back, back, okay, so the main thing to watch with the dumbbell row, like I said, is you, it's not a bicep exercise, but rather you're driving the elbows backwards, okay, so I would do uh, whatever your 12 to 20 reps there, then I'd wait 10 seconds, and of course do the other side, and then wait a minute, do your presses again, and uh, Repeat that cycle. I'd do that three times, and I would do that three times a week, okay? And of course, once again, you know, if you've been training for a bit, you want to make sure you're taking those sets pretty close to failure, and if you're a beginner, maybe take it like 60, 70%, and slowly progress from there. Anyways, I would do that three times a week, and uh, that'll take care of most of your major muscle groups of the upper body. Anyways, that's it.